Ali, looking back, how would you describe the last few weeks with England? Uh, yeah, it's been pretty, um, pretty intense, um, but it's been a good, good experience to be involved um, in the senior setup. Um, it's been really enjoyable to obviously get my first cap um, and then to push on and play a couple more games um, was really good. Uh, but yeah, no, it was an exciting couple of uh, couple of weeks. What do you remember from that debut in Italy? Yeah, I think it was um, it was a weird one really, not having fans there. Um, so it was kind of the kind of the atmosphere of it all was kind of it was a bit less intense, I think, to an extent. Um, the focus was more on like I could focus on my role, uh, focus on the job at hand, um, and kind of just enjoy the game. Um, it was pretty special for me. It was a shame not to have my to have my family there. Um, but on the whole, it was a really good experience and great to be involved with the team and obviously finish off winning the Six Nations. What's different about training with England to club rugby? Um, I guess it's a tough one really. I'd say the intensity, I think the, the quality of the players there um, and the way that they train is just relentless. I think they want to be the best in the world um, and there's that real drive there um, and everyone's all behind it. I think everyone's there to, they know what they need to do um, and everyone pushes the, pushes the boundaries and drives those standards throughout the whole day and the whole time we're at camp, so that's probably the big difference. And what's it like to work with Eddie Jones? Yeah, he's been really good for me. I think um, he's a really good coach, um, a really good people person and brings the best out in me personally, I think. Um, it's been good to get to know him um, and to work with all the other coaches there. Um, it's been really beneficial towards me, so it's been good. And what do you think you've learned from the experience? I think on the whole, just learn how, how, how to be a professional on and off the field. I think there's some, some players there that are kind of going above and beyond um, in, in terms of their recovery, in terms of the way they prepare and the way they perform. And I think it really brought the best out of me and how to drive my own standards and kind of bring in the players around me and support them and bring the best out of each other. And I think that created a really positive environment. And I think it just made me really grateful for the opportunity that I've been given to be able to be playing rugby. Um, and obviously in, in the current climate, just to be able to do what I love doing for, for a living. And just it just makes me really grateful for the opportunities I have and the position I'm in. Back to six rays and Ollie Morris has been playing while you've been away and he's impressed and there's a lot of competition in the centres now, isn't there? Yeah, I think it's really good to see everyone fit, um, firstly. Um, but Ollie's played really well since since he's had the opportunity to start. Um, I think he's really put his best foot forward um, and it's going to be difficult for all of us coming back in and wanting to start um, because, like I said, everyone's been playing well. Obviously, we haven't had a couple of results that we wanted to go our way. Um, but yeah, he's really stepped up and I think all the other centres, Ash, um, Sway, Sam Butts have all put in really good performances, so it's good to have good competition in the centres. I'm back to six ways this weekend and it'll be your first game in front of a crowd for many months, you must be looking forward to that. Yeah, no, it's going to be pretty pretty cool to have some fans back in supporting us on. Um, yeah, I, th I guess you've got to look at it the same as any other game, um, but yeah, no, it'll be a real boost and nice to see some uh, fans back out there.